Hello students, I am Ma'am Zenny. Welcome to our online class. I am very happy to meet you all. Let us start our mathematics video tutorial. Our lesson for today is about principal root. Our objectives for this lesson are Describe principal roots and tell whether they are rational or irrational. Determine between which two consecutive integers the square root of a number is. Let us have this activity. Identify if a number is a perfect square or not a perfect square. A square number or perfect square is a number obtained when we square a number or when we multiply a number by itself two times. Number 1. 16. 16 is a perfect square. Number 2. 21. 21 is not a perfect square. Number 3. 37. 37 is not a perfect square. Number 4. 81. 81 is a perfect square. Number 5. 90. 90 is not a perfect square. Number 6. 25. 25 is a perfect square. Number 7. 61. 61 is not a perfect square. Number 8. 64. 64 is a perfect square. Number 9. 36. 36 is a perfect square. Number 10. 85. 85 is not a perfect square. Let us have a review. Square numbers or perfect squares have two square roots, one positive and one negative. What are the square roots of 9? The square roots of 9 are positive 3 and negative 3. Since positive 3 times positive 3 is equal to positive 9. Negative 3 times negative 3 is equal to positive 9. Thus, the square roots of 9 are positive 3 and negative 3. What are the square roots of 64? The square roots of 64 are positive 8 and negative 8. Since positive 8 times positive 8 is equal to positive 64. Negative 8 times negative 8 is equal to positive 64. Thus, the square roots of 64 are positive 8 and negative 8. What is a principal root? Principal root is the positive square root. Let us have an example. What is the principal root of 49? First, let us determine what are the square roots of 49. The square roots of 49 are positive 7 and negative 7. Since positive 7 times positive 7 is equal to positive 49. 
negative 7 times negative 7 is equal to positive 49. Thus, the square roots of 49 are positive 7 and negative 7. So, what is the principal root of square root of 49? Remember, principal root is the positive square root. Thus, positive 7 or 7 is the principal root. Next example, what is the principal root of 64? First, let us determine what are the square roots of 64. So, the square roots of 64 are positive 8 and negative 8. Since positive 8 times positive 8 is equal to positive 64. Negative 8 times negative 8 is equal to positive 64. Thus, 8 is the principal root. Principal root may be rational or irrational. Rational are numbers that can be expressed as a quotient a over b of two integers. Irrational are numbers that cannot be expressed as quotient a over b of two integers. To determine whether a principal root is rational or irrational, determine if the radicand is a perfect square or not. In our example, square root of 25, this is the radical symbol, a symbol used to indicate that a root is being taken. 25 is the radicand. Radicand, the value inside the radical symbol. The value you want to take the root of. If the radicand is a perfect square, then the principal root is rational. If the radicand is not a perfect square, then the principal root is irrational. In this activity, we are going to state whether the given radical is rational or irrational. Square root of 4. First, determine whether the radicand is a perfect square or not a perfect square. 4 is a perfect square since 2 times 2 is equal to 4. Remember, if the radicand is a perfect square, the radical is rational. Square root of 16. Determine if the radicand is a perfect square or not. 16 is a perfect square since 4 times 4 is equal to 16. Thus, square root of 16 is rational. Square root of 12. Let us determine if the radicand 12 is a perfect square or not a perfect square. 12 is not a perfect square. Remember, if the radicand is not a perfect square, the radical is irrational. 
So square root of 12 is irrational. Square root of 81. 81 is a perfect square. Thus, square root of 81 is rational. Square root of 38. 38 is not a perfect square. Thus, square root of 38 is irrational. Square root of 49. 49 is a perfect square. Thus, square root of 49 is rational. Square root of 70. 70 is not a perfect square. Thus, square root of 70 is irrational. Square root of 91. 91 is not a perfect square. Thus, square root of 91 is irrational. In this activity, we are going to tell whether each of the following is rational or irrational. If it is rational, give the principal root. Square root of 16. Square root of 16 is rational. What is the principal root of square root of 16? The principal root of square root of 16 is 4. Square root of 11. Square root of 11 is irrational. Square root of 49. Square root of 49 is rational. What is the principal root? The principal root is 7. Square root of 36. Square root of 36 is rational. What is the principal root? The principal root is 6. Square root of 32. Square root of 32 is irrational. Square root of 50. Square root of 50 is irrational. Square root of 100. Square root of 100 is rational. What is the principal root? The principal root is 10. In this activity, we are going to determine between which two consecutive integers the square root of a number is. Consecutive integers means integers which follow each other in order without gaps. For example, three consecutive integers are 1, 2, and 3. Next, another three consecutive integers are 7, 8, and 9. So, in, in our example, between which two consecutive integers does square root of 14 lie? First, let us determine what are the perfect squares on each side of 14. 14 lies between 9 and 16. Remember, 9 and 16 are perfect squares. 
So, square root of 14 lies between square root of 9 and square root of 16. Square root of 9 is equal to 3. Square root of 16 is equal to 4. Our answer is between 3 and 4. Thus, square root of 14 lies between 3 and 4. Between which two consecutive integers does square root of 42 lie? 42 lies between 36 and 49. So, square root of 42 lies between square root of 36 and square root of 49. Square root of 36 is equal to 6. Square root of 49 is equal to 7. So, our answer is between 6 and 7. Thus, Square root of 42 lies between 6 and 7. Between which two consecutive integers does square root of 73 lie? 73 lies between 64 and 81. So, square root of 73 lies between square root of 64 and square root of 81. Square root of 64 is equal to 8. Square root of 81 is equal to 9. So, our answer is between 8 and 9. Thus, Square root of 73 lies between 8 and 9. Remember, 8 and 9 are two consecutive integers. Between which two consecutive integers does 140 lie? 140 lies between 121 and 144. So, square root of 140 lies between square root of 121 and square root of 144. Square root of 121 is equal to 11. Square root of 144 is equal to 12. So, our answer is between 11 and 12. Thus, square root of 140 lies between 11 and 12. Remember, 11 and 12 are two consecutive integers. That's all for today. Once again, this is Ma'am Zenny. Saying, mathematics is not about numbers, equations, computations, or algorithms. It is about understanding. This quote is from William Paul Thurston. Please don't forget to like and subscribe para updated ka sa lessons and video tutorials natin. You can also share this video tutorial with your friends. See you in our next lesson. Bye!